Welcome to the VC Show. I'm Ross Golden Wood and I'm a long time, eight time NBA All Star and future Hall of Famer, Vince Carter. What's up, man? Yes, Vince? what's going on? How you doing? I, I'm good. I like I the way that sounds. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate yeah, Exactly. I appreciate you doing this. Uh, you know, uh, it's a great opportunity. And I was like, hey, who better? We've worked together, obviously, before. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've made some, some, some magic on TV. So I was like, hey, this is a great opportunity to bring it to the podcast world. And here we are. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. Like, literally, <laughs> literally, my phone rings. Like, Brrr. I'm like looking at it. I'm like. I, I, that's hard. how you answer the phone. Like, <laughs> what's up? I was like, yeah, yeah. It's a reason I'm calling. <laughs> I should have I should have screenshotted the phone call. Will you call me again so I can screenshot it? Just call be like, yo, Vince Carter Done. did actually call me. <laughs> he did call. Yeah, it's there. It's there. It should still be. A, I know you get a lot of calls, so it should still. But it should still be in your um your call log. I mean, I, you know, I get a lot of calls. That, that call might have been further down Understood. now by now. <laughs> but but uh, what you call it? I literally seen Vince's name on my phone, and I was just like, what? And I've always said, um, when I have the chance to do sidelines with you for NBA games, and you're our analyst on the on the broadcast, Vince is like the best. You're, you're the best teammate. Um, and I say that all the time. Um, I've... I feel like as a sideline reporter, sometimes like you're on an island, you know, you're sitting yes, course, away from the course. broadcast group. Um, you're trying to get into the game broadcast. You have no idea what's coming next. You got 20 seconds to speak. And like, I'll give a hit. And Vince, a lot of times it's just, okay, thank you, Roz. And they get back to the game. But like Vince will, you know, find something in there to weave into his commentary or analyst or acknowledge it. And I've noticed that about you, and you're just a very thoughtful teammate, you know? You got it. You got it. You got it. So that's why, <laughs> that's why I felt like it was going to be fun, and we have a great connection, like I said. And, you know, I don't know if you remember this, and I, I mentioned it to you. I think we were in – we were in at, at Golden State, as a matter of fact. Years – many years ago, uh, I was work, – you were working uh, with Golden State, and you said to me – you like, we took a picture together. You said, we're going to work together soon. Watch. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and, and, and it was crazy how full circle here we are. You know what? I was keep I'm gonna keep on that thread of that Golden State game then, because yeah. no, because I remember there was a Make a Wish kid with me, and we were mm -hmm. having her be mm -hmm. a sideline reporter with me, and I was mm -hmm. the Warriors' local sideline reporter, and I go up to Vince. I mean, like we were just trying to give her the experience, and we see you know future Hall of Famer, superstar, just everything. Vince Carter there. I just wanted him to like you know wave at her. Vince comes over and spends so much time with her and her family, like takes pictures, answers questions, allows her to do a, a you know, a pretend interview with him. Mm -hmm. she, that, mm -hmm. And I was just like, I knew there too, like, okay, he's kind. He has a warmth about him too, you know? You remember that day? I do. And I was going to say, the one thing I do remember, she's like, she was, she was asking me, what's it like to be an NBA player, you know, and play with other superstars? And, you know, I, I, for some, I mean, I just remember that. And, you know, you get the question a lot, but I do remember her asking that. And that's like, you know, it's it's a it's a question I think every kid wants to know, you know, for, for especially for young kids who want to become professionals, whether it's WNBA or the NBA, they want to know what it's like. And, yeah. you know, you can always tell a player about the NBA, but it's nothing like experiencing it yourself when you get that opportunity whether you know just being in the space as you know in in general it's nothing like being in this in this world uh with you know great people and you meet good people and bad people as you know players as well but you know it's 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 cool to, to be able to share the experience and they're like wow wow and they look at it and you know when you get here you're just like yeah this is everything it's it's been cra it's cracked up to be you know you're on one of my top five lists right hey i'll take that uh, I mean, obviously basketball player, but, you know, but I have started to like, just jokingly, I like to say top five, uh, first team, all, all human being mm -hmm. like, you know, for a lot of these NBA players and there's so many great, uh, amazing characters I meet on the mm -hmm. sidelines. And I would absolutely say you're one of them. Like, you. you know, I had the pleasure of covering Stephen Curry, whose warmth and kindness, like is, has been talked about all the time. Donovan Mitchell, you know, uh, I love, you know, opportunities to hang out with Victor Oladipo, like um, yourself. Like I would say, like, first team, all human being on top of everything you, else that you, you are. You. Uh, and also, Ross, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, you are much more than a basketball player. So before we actually get to the show, uh -oh. which we have to do, yeah, I'm just trying to understand what the jingle for our show is going to be. Is it like the VC show? The v hey. How's it? Because I heard you're coming up with the tunes for this. We're, What's we're, going on? 
you know, I've been searching. I have some, I have some producer friends who, you know, I reached out to who's very successful in, in the music world. Shout out to KP of the colleagues who uh, gave me a beat. We have the beat right now, and later on we're going to share, hopefully share, the, um, the, the, the vocals. Okay, that is so dope that you're that plugged in on the music side. So, like, just real quick, like, what is your music background? Music background. So, as a, as a child, let's see, sixth grade, fifth grade, somewhere down there. Um, well, it started by my mom saying, hey, you, you're not going to just be uh, a, an athlete. I want you to be more than an athlete. Mm-hmm. You know, I want you, you're a student athlete, but... If some reason this sports thing or basketball doesn't work, have something to fall back on, obviously education. But she's like, I want you to be mostly faceted and try other things. So music was another passion of mine. Uh, and of course, I played a lot of sports, but music, I started with the saxophone. And uh, so I, I, alto saxophone was my first instrument. So I played that. And then I moved to tenor. So I could play all of the saxophone. I could play trumpet. I could play tuba. I could play baritone. I could play like seven instruments. Uh, clarinet, play the drums. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, as as I got older and started to, to continue to be in the band, I started teaching myself how to play the trumpet and the baritone and the tuba and, you know, just being around music, learn the drums and, and, and just the rhythms and, and, and obviously just learning uh, how to write music, uh, choreograph band dances at the time when I was in the band. I was a drum major. Uh, so yeah, music was, it was my, was my second love. Uh, but I loved it as much as, as, as basketball. So I, I basically during basketball season, I mean, I was splitting time and I played volleyball. So at one point I was, I was in the band, volleyball and basketball splitting time, you know, still working on my game, but in, in music as well. So, and as I got older and built my, my, my first house, well, built my house, um, I put a little studio in there just because I love music and some of my friends and producer friends, uh, were around music so I wanted to create a space where my friends can still hang out as 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 you know as as, as friends and you know and, and best friends but give them the space to do what they do and still succeed just like I did for me I built a little basketball court where I can work on my game and perfect my craft but I was creating that opportunity for them but it was for me too it was like my little playground and uh, yeah so now I have friends who who are very successful in the, in the music world and they so they sent me over some instrumentals when I knew we were doing this I was like hey I need a beat this is what I'm looking for. I think it'll be cool with our personalities and, you know, what, you know, for me and my love of music, being a Southern kid, but still making it fun. So here you go. Hey. Okay. Hey. Something a little exciting, a yeah. little bouncy, yeah, you know. Yeah. That goes, that definitely bounces though. What's the influence? What's your What's your sound? So, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I mean, I'm a Southern guy, but here, this, this is, this is kind of, I, I feel for podcasts and everything, we want people to be engaged and locked in from the door. And this is something that it's, it's bouncy, you know, it's light. You know, it's just not a deep, dark beat. You know, maybe I'm getting too too deep into the music thing, but it's not very dark, but it's kind of lively, bouncy, upbeat. So when our our show comes on, they hear this, and they're going to hear, obviously, the lyrics that is customized to, to us, and it's going to tie it all in to, you know, how we work together and per, your personality, lively, upbeat. And, you know, obviously, we're going to educate the world on sports and in our world and, and, and talk and have a good time and make people feel at home. So I think it's going to tie it in pretty cool. And, and that's a great start. Oh my gosh. I love the thoughtfulness <laughs> you put into this because it's, it's literally setting the stage that's it. for that's people to step about. into the VC show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Raza, As you know, you know, like any business opportunity, when you walk into that first meeting, you want to set the tone. And that's kind of the importance for me as you know, being in music and writing music and being the, the drum major, uh, and the leader of the band uh, at one point in time. Well, the drum major uses the first person that would step on the field before the band presented themselves and mm. wanted to make sure that first impression was important. And this is one and the same. This podcast is your baby right now? Like, Yeah, man. We're I mean, going we're gonna to make some moves. And, you know, I, I th- it not even to be in, in, in Raz, I'm going to tell the truth here. This is not even to be in it to be, to be the best. But I want people to be able to come here and feel like, and you, it, it's referenced, it'll be referenced in here. We want people that feel like they're our family now. 
You're coming over mm. to the house. We're sitting out back, you know, doing what you do or the drinking or whatever you do just to hang out, kick your feet up and you, you, you listen to a good conversation. And we want f- people to listen to us talk and they feel it in their chest where they feel engaged to what we're talking about, whether it's a, a debate, telling a story, uh, interviewing another guest, whatever it may be, people feel engaged. And that's kind of what I wanted to feel like this you know, people feel like, hey, we're conversating about like like what we talk about now and people can relate to, hey, I was in the band and oh, shoot, he played. At one point, I was a top five in the, in the country in high school, but I was I was also in the band. So I was able to relate to what people consider the band nerds as well as the cool basketball athletes. And I was a part of both worlds. And I think that's what I want people to feel engaged with what we talk about. I love that duality about you. Um, first, first of all, were you would you say that basketball was your best skill or was it the music? Just real quick, I want to know that. I mean, I think basketball, as we know, it was probably my best <laughs> skill, but at the same time, I think I thought I think music at the time was right there. I mean, you I mean, I was looking at that time, I was looking at schools that would allow me to do both. Uh, to mm-hmm. be honest with you. Yeah. If I could have, you know, in a perfect world, if I could have gone to <laughs> a college and been in FAMU band or Bethune Cookman band, I would have done both. I mean, that's just how much I was engaged in music and enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of college coaches were probably like, Yeah, Vince wants to be in the band. Let's get him some drumsticks. Like man, this... <laughs> they come to your house with saxophones. Yeah. Man. Like you could <laughs> you could be with whatever band you want to, Vince. Just commit. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> We yeah, after the fact, started. after the fact, this, believe it or not, Roz, a lot of people didn't do you know their homework or didn't care about it or didn't even think like that at the time. Um, but music was like really my one B love. I mean, obviously basketball was it. Yeah. I played football as a quarterback, uh, but it was music. Basketball and music was head head to head. Well, you are multifaceted, and I love. I think this was a beautiful way just to kind of start off, like yeah. let people feel. I mean, people got when you when you used to say that you put your passion, your love, years of work and and expertise um, just into the intro song to the VC podcast. You know, people like immediately like I was just kind of bopping with it. You yeah. feel that, like you said, the beat isn't uh, too dark. It's bouncy. Like you know, yeah. you want the show to feel like family. Yeah. So as soon as the music hits, it's you a, know, you're engaged. You're locked somewhere. in. You know, and that's what we say. Like the VC show, let's go, everybody, let's go. Let's go.